in a region of Spain like no other. Where passion and dedication is applied to every pursuit. Lies two very different cities. Embodied by their football clubs who haven't played for a decade and a half until now. It's Sport in Gijon versus Real Oviedo. This is Derby Day's Asturias, the first one in more than 14 years. Welcome to Asturias, a northern region of Spain that looks and feels like nowhere else in this country. We call Asturias the natural paradise. Yeah. Because everything is green, everything is rainy, but everything is beautiful. Asturias is like the best place in the world. For example, if you pick a car and make a trip, it's a totally different country than the rest of Spain. The weather, lifestyle, the look, and also the people. Es una región muy bonita, mucha montaña, playa muy cerca, eh, una gastronomía estupenda. This is insane. This is all Asturian food? Yeah, of course. Oh, be careful, be careful with that. This is very important for us. Okay? It's, it's beans. Yeah. It's not beans. It's Asturian for more, more than beans. It's cabrales, this is a fogal pitu. This is cheese. No, no cheese. Asturian cheese. Asturian cheese. You know, best cheese in the world. Okay, this motherfucker, the cornbread with the picadillo, chips and It's eggs. England meets Mexico, let's be honest. No, you. man, no, man, really. Hay sitios, por ejemplo, en Múnich que se entregan a la, a la o Bruselas que se entregan a la cerveza, pues aquí tenemos aquí tenemos la sidra. You named the street it's, after it's, a drink. Yeah, Cider Boulevard. It's, it's only cider in this street. Here in Asturias we make it different than the rest of the world, okay? I have to take the liquid in here, okay? You're not going to make that. Are you sure? Es algo que nos hace diferentes por su forma de, de ser consumida, además con el escanciado. I mean, you drink it. You didn't fill it. No, never. Oh, really? How yeah, old were you when you were, when your parents were five years old, man. You were pouring alcohol at yeah. five. Serious? Uh, so, it's pride. It's a pride. Yeah. Serious is about you know uh, people being brave. Romans tried to conquer us, they couldn't. La región que primero se rebeló en España contra la invasión árabe. Vikings came here, tried to conquer us, they couldn't. No nos gusta que nos impongan las cosas. You know, because we are strong, we are working class people, and we try to be our fucking way, you know? Y bueno, somos así, somos peleones. Don't mess with us, Asturias. Um, yeah, I'm learning that. <laughs> but for all the significance locals place on Asturian culture, in contrast, or at least alongside Spanish culture, within Asturias itself comes a regional divide between the big city, Gijón, and the capital, Oviedo. Mm -hmm. What's in Oviedo? What's, what's in Oviedo? Woody Allen, the director. Yeah. He went to Rome, New York, Paris. He filmed around the world. When he came to Oviedo, he says, it's, it's like a fairy tale. It's like uh, this city doesn't belong to this world. Es la capital de la región, Oviedo, y una vida cultural muy, muy, muy intensa. ¿no? Porque Oviedo es una mierda, no tiene playa. Gijón is better than Madrid, than Barcelona, than New York City, than London, you know, we got everything here. Pues lo primero porque tiene mar y una ciudad con mar siempre da mucha, es mucho más bonita. Both cities are very different. Gijón was like working class people during the whole history. Miners, fishermen, I mean, and that's something that uh, is completely opposite to Oviedo, where you can find more elegant people, you know? En general, la rivalidad es en todos los, los aspectos. Have more theater, more opera, more cultural. Events. We got a beach, they don't. There's a lot of beaches in, in, in Asturias. It's the biggest city and they, they know. Oviedo um, citizens don't go to the Gijón beach. Uh, Just because it's Gijón? Sometimes. Puta Oviedo y puta capital! Puta Gijón! Different industries, different landscapes, different economies, but one thing remains the same. Es el deporte rey. En Asturias el fútbol es el deporte rey. We don't play with the food, with the drink, and with the football. El Real Oviedo es un equipo con más solera. Todo el mundo cuando habla del Oviedo comenta lo mismo. Oviedo no se entendería sin su sin su equipo de fútbol. 
Founded in 1925 as a merger between two clubs to keep football in the city, you may not have heard of Real Oviedo, but you should have, because they've played a significant part in the history of Spanish La Liga. El Real Oviedo es un equipo eh, clásico de la Liga Española. In the 30s, have the, the electric striker. This guy, Langara, is a fucking legend. Six strikers, no defense, always always uh, attack, attack, attack. But here's the thing, for that history, they've never won anything. Like, anything. So, give me the highlights. Okay, highlights. Uh, we are uh, bullshit. We haven't any success. But no trophies. No trophies. We never won a title. We never won a title, okay? Did you come close? I But their trophy cabinet is the least of their supporters' concerns. Ganarnos los todo. You know that. Yeah, I agree. I, I know that we we will never won a trophy, a league or or even a semi-final in Copa del Rey. It's because if you look into the history, the recent history of this club, you realize the fact that they even exist is an achievement as good as any in football. 2003 season, yep. we were in second division. Okay. It's not so bad, same as now. Yeah, but we, we get relegated to second B, third division. Down, second division, second B division, and then... The players weren't paid. Yeah. So, uh, the league put us in fourth division. And we were this close to disappearing as a club. You got relegated twice in one, one go? One, one in the pitch and one in the office. So you yeah. went straight from the second division, skipped the third, went straight to the fourth, to the and they took away six points as well when you got there? Yeah. And in that moment, uh, the mayor of the city founded a new team. Why? Political reasons for, for him. We played in, in fields, uh, football fields, that were made out of mud. You don't finish the week, you are almost dead. You shouldn't have a chance then. But you need, you, you, you can wait, you need to do something. My heart beats my, my... for you. I'm a Carvajon, which is like a Noviedo fan, till I die. So what did you do? We, we, go to the street. we had over 10,000 fans in, in Tercera. People take the phone and call all the fans. That's we have a team. Yes, of course. You came, we have a team. I, I was a kid and I was in the offices sending letters to fans. People take the shares for, for sale, negotiate uh, with banks, pay, pay, pay the debt. We try to pay the 45 millions, but it's impossible to pay 2012. Club que estuvo al borde de la desaparición. We had a match point. Y al borde de la muerte. We need to pay yes or yes. So you reached out to the world to save you. Yeah. And what happened? It was magical. We have shareholders in all the countries. We saved the match point, the final match point. Now we have endeavors, and now a new era begins. Mayors, debt collectors, the authorities, Oviedo and their supporters defeated them all. And whilst they don't have any cups or league titles, the individuals and establishments that try to bring them down, that's Rail's trophies. We won every fight. Every enemy who, who tried to defeat the Oviedo, yeah. to kill the Oviedo, was defeated by us. And now, having cleared off the last of that debt literally the other week and safely secured in Spain's second division, after 14 years of waiting, there's only one more enemy to tick off the list. They're 14 miles up the road and they've just dropped down to the second division. Si amas el fútbol, que se, que se siente desde que naces. Si de verdad adoras el fútbol desde sus cimientos, desde su base más elemental, el Sporting es tu equipo más duro. Founded in 1905, sport in Gijón's beginnings, just like the city itself, originate from the area's maritime culture. Sporting became a club when uh, all the workers uh, from the, the ships from England came here and stopped by here. They used to play uh, football in the beach of San Lorenzo. El nacimiento del fútbol en España prácticamente era lo más fácil, jugar en la playa. The colors of Sporting de Gijón are based on Gijón flag which is based on the maritime yeah. uh, flag and white stripes. Yeah. Just like their off-pitch origins, Sporting's on-pitch ethos directly aligns from the city's area, where the term they use to describe their footballing philosophy isn't a Spanish one, but an Asturian one. Guajes. 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 It's like kids. Es una palabra muy típica asturiana, los guajes. Es el término que se usaba en la mina para definir al aprendiz. Chavales de cantera se empezó a llamar los guajes. 
and it's here where those wahes are produced and fostered. Sporting's famous Mareo Academy, considered by many in Spanish football to be almost as good as Barcelona's La Masia and considered by many in Gijón to be almost as important as their beach. Mareo, it's a really, really, really good culture of, of soccer. Los mejores jugadores que hemos tenido en nuestra historia han salido de ahí, han sido, han sido gente asturiana. It's everything. It's the building for build soccer players. No podemos decir que nunca que hayamos hecho un fichaje que sea el que nos haya venido aquí a ganar los partidos. Siempre ha sido gente de casa. Barcelona, we spend 100 million. Other clubs like Sporting de Gijón can do that. So we need to invest in the in the kids for a strong first team. So I am feeling proud of that uh, to born footballistically uh, from there. David Villa, Luis Enrique, Abelardo. All the golden era players came out from here, from Mareo. And this is something very special for the sporting fan. With the identity of sporting so aligned with this city, it's no wonder that just like with Real Oviedo, the people of Gijón support their local club and only their local club. In Gijón, se ha conseguido una plena identificación del equipo con la ciudad, y eso consigue que la gente ya vea el ir al Molinón no como un simple pasatiempo, sino como algo algo que hay que hacer para animar a tu equipo. Ahora mismo tiene más abonados, más socios que 11 equipos de primera división. What is it, Mareona? Mareona in English is big wave. Okay, why big wave? Because it's like a wave. It's like a wave of noise, or. Volvemos al mar en un término en términos marinos. Claro. Okay. Y nace a raíz de los cuando empezamos a desplazarnos realmente más en masa y conseguimos llevar ocho mil personas a Coruña, cuatro mil a Salamanca, cuatro mil al Bernabéu. But it's not just the home fans of El Molinón who will tell you about the incredible atmospheres in this stadium. As if you look into the quotes and comments of players and managers who had to be the opposition here, you quickly realise that this stadium and El Marion make the best atmosphere. In all of club Spanish football. Recuerdo cuando perdimos 1-6 con el Barcelona aquí. Y estuvimos eh, una vez acabado el partido 20 minutos cantando eh, todavía animando. Que lo dijo Samuel Eto en el campo que no había visto nunca nada igual en su vida. Que hasta la policía nos pidió por favor que nos fuéramos ya porque que se querían ir a casa y nosotros hubiéramos seguido allí cantando. La pasión con la que se vive en esta ciudad en Gijón, en Gijón. Eh, yo lo digo sin ninguna rivalidad, creo que no tiene parangón en muchos sitios de España, y menos en Oviedo. Whether it's size, history or mentality, just like when they describe their city, for some reason Sportingistas always want to stress how different they are to their capital rivals. Tienes que mirar a la peña. Tú en Oviedo viste esto, tú en Oviedo... Esto no se ve en Oviedo, eh. They were in second division and we were playing against Milan, Barri Gosaki and Van Basten. But for all the talk of how different sports in Arte Real, here's the thing. Sporting have won just as much. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. We, we've always been about to win something. I mean, we were about to win the league. And we were about to win the cup. And it's crazy, you know, because we've been always like this, touching, 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 but we never won anything. But even when it comes to failure, Real and Sporting fans will turn it into a competition. No sé si ellos pueden haber sufrido, pero nosotros desde luego hemos sufrido mucho. El Oviedo para mí es un, es un sentimiento de lucha contra, contra la adversidad que, que no te dan otros equipos de fútbol. They say sporting fans don't know what it's suffering. I mean, we got relegated and we've been suffering uh, through tough times. You cannot compare both situations. They went through some economic struggles, but it's not the same thing. We've been about to disappear twice with this owner. Twice. I hope the sporting goes down there and see what happens. We were in the second division. We had a debt of around 45 million million of euros. To go to third division, see if you resist that. They'll compete over uniforms. Oh, sí, el rojo blanco más guapo. Azul dice con muchas cosas, eh? pantalones grises, pantalón <laughs> blanco. They'll compete over stadiums. Más guapo el Molinón. El Molinón is something special, you know, it's the oldest stadium in Spanish football, you know. No este cacho de bunker que hicieron aquí. Ya se quedó un poco obsoleto, ya parece que no dice nada. El campo de los Oviedo es mucho mejor. Tiene mucha más solera, es un diseño mucho más futurista. And don't even start on club legends. Mata, mata, mata. David Villa, David Villa is the main striker in Spain's history. But I don't respect him. It's not about the goals he scores. It's what's behind it, the feeling, you know. The legend, Kini, you know, he's the legend in Asturias. Following this whole Asturian derby, I'm seeing something in both these sets of supporters don't. They're very similar. Asturians who have been given a club and followed it the only way an Asturian can, with blind loyalty and dedication, 
no matter what's thrown at them. When we had problems, we were more, more passionate, more passionate. More problems, more passion. That reminds me of another team. You broke your membership record last year. Yeah, and we broke it this year. But you got relegated. Yeah, but we broke it once again. Two years in a row. Who gets relegated and breaks the... Sporting de Gijón. We, we love to, to, to fight against the mayor, the president, La Liga, the federation, everyone. Nosotros nos gusta pe pelear. Y solo el ver que eres capaz de, de disputar algo, la lucha es lo que, lo que nos define. Classical four, five, five pages. And to roll 22. I mean, how do you even find enough stories for 22? There are a lot of kids that uh, is, is uh, their first derby. The last derby was mm -hmm. in 2003. With another world. Yeah. Another coin. <laughs> no, no, sleep no, no, no. Sleep no. Oh, we can't sleep. We can't sleep. 14 years. Why? Why? Okay. Derby is coming. Derby is eh? coming. No, 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 Nervios. Mónica, tú no recuerdas. I never drink alcohol before a match. And, and now... Take some pills. Before the game? Yeah, of course. What, ecstasy? Uh, no. <laughs> Take a relaxing pill because I was very nervous. The coffee this morning was... Uh, no, no caffeine. You're not pregnant, man. It's just a game. That this match is not just a, a derby, just a maximum rivality game. It's like war. It's a war. It's gone to another level of absurd here. They told me Asturians are a different people, a different kind of crazy. This is a different kind of crazy. That's going to go off. Shit. You know what? It's like some kind of like guerrilla style mob wrestling. They're, they're belting themselves. I think the nerves have gone into them because it's all gonna be. It's all gonna be mental here. Oh, it's gonna be. What the fuck's going on? They've gotten their belts off, their shirts off, and they're whipping each other. The last baby was in 2003, and they, I, I, I don't use their, their name. You don't even say the name? I don't like it. Uh, they make a t-shirt and say the last derby of the history. It's the last derby because you wanna be disappeared. You will be disappeared. No more derby, no the history. This is the last one. And now, 14 years later, we are here. <laughs> Real's bus is turning up first. What that means for that bus coming through here, I don't know. But uh, it's going to be special, that's for sure. Oh, you can feel it, can't you? That's it.
Maybe can. What's in, in Partizan Red Star? The level of passion it is, is in there. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! In Spain, I don't know in the other leagues, but in Spain I think it's the, 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 the best derby here. analogy for explaining our recent history. You have your mother almost dying in the hospital. Looking yes. on, her, on okay. her eyes and the politicians, the league, the, ma the media try to disconnect the machine. And you say, no, no, wait, wait, wait. I know my mother is in a coma. Wait, wait, wait. I know that. And she's alive and well now. She's alive. I'm sure that this, this mother yeah. will be a great grandmother. <laughs> Next time on Derby Days.